to have you with us tonight. I am Mark Neely, along with 1988 Division II national champ from University of Massachusetts, Lowell, Phil Horenda. Bill, and they're both playing better basketball than their conference standing would indicate, Mark. Louisiana Tech, they come in number nine in the conference, but they're on a two-game winning streak. Fresno State, what do they do? They defeat number two New Mexico State in the WAC on this floor Thursday night in overtime. Yeah, there you go. Derek Needham, only a sophomore, first team all MAC. Not only a swisher, he's a disher, leading the Snags four and a half assists per game. And Ogade has been sensational, especially over his last seven. He's averaging 22 points, nine rebounds. The Stags will need to limit his touches tonight. NBA scouts trailing him like the paparazzi following the Kardashians. <laughs> As advertised, they're number two in the country, only 58 points allowed per game. Colorado State on 52 right now. We see the deflections, the trap. Nickerson with the rotation, the double team. Eichmeyer struggling in the corner. And then, of course, the furtive nature of the Stag roster. They average eight steals per night. They've got 12 right now on the road at Mobile Arena. It's crunch time. They lead by three. 325 to go. Now, Joe, you've been through the mock selection process. How tough is it? How frenetic is it? Because this seems like you've you've given some precedent for this type of decision, but it still seems egregious. I just, you know, look, reasonable minds can differ about individual teams and individual profiles. And the Stags are a team that prides themselves on defense and rebounding. Brian Blaney, one of the assistants with the Stags. Scion of George Blaney, associate head coach at UConn. They carry around, Dave, I'm not sure if this is part of your workout regimen, a sledgehammer. If you're a guard, you get seven rebounds, you get to sign it. If you're a big and you get ten, you get to sign it. But Todd, you nailed it. That's one way to beat the matchup zone, kind of like you after this broadcast heading for the door. <laughs> so you have to put up with me, get out and transition and run great finish by Fullerton. He's Shep interior. To Greg Smith and Shep pushing again. Olakibe, no field goals first half. He delivers on cue. Before the New Mexico State game, Coach Steve Cleveland said, quote, I was real honest with our team. You're playing for a berth in the tournament, the WAC tournament. If that doesn't develop a sense of urgency, I don't know what does. Now they're tied for sixth. Perhaps another frank conversation took place. Hawkins, athletic out of Apex, North Carolina, gets in the passing lane. And once Fairfield gets the basketball, Dave, out in transition, these are turnovers, they're breakout turnovers that are devastating on the scoreboard and emotionally their momentum shifters, the breakout turnovers. Hawkins having a breakout second half. And Louisiana Tech, Mark, their slogan, talk less, do more. I thought that was for the analysts. I thought that was intended for me. I don't know if I'm delivering or not, I'm living up to it, but of course, Louisiana Tech is so far in this game. Do you want a national championship with UMass Lowell? As a player, would you rather be playing those games or would you rather be sitting and saying, hey, we know we're already in the semis? I'd rather be playing. I think it's, uh, it's just better to be in that rhythm, right. in that flow. Uh, you know, let's face it, everyone at this stage of the game has bumps and bruises. You've just got to play through them. It's really who's mentally toughest that ascends and excels. So I'd rather be playing. Inside. 